the Detroit Lions completely blew their chance to go to their first Super Bowl in franchise history, and it could be a long time before they get their next shot. This may have been our only shot. Welcome in and welcome in. I'm Jesse McNamara and welcome to Point of View. Before we get into it today, I just want to say we always appreciate your feedback and look forward to reading your comments like the one we've got here. Gotta address this one. I may not be right about a lot of things, but the Raiders went 4-2 and two in their division this season. Only the Steelers did better in the AFC. So maybe we leave that point alone and leave the cursing to Dan Campbell. Now moving on. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of this episode to see if you can guess today's trivia question down below. To today's topic, are the Lions building something, or did they just miss their one shot, one opportunity to seize everything they wanted? I think it's really difficult to see them making another deep playoff run next season, and here's why. Before this season, the Lions' last playoff appearance came in 2016, and their last playoff win was in 1991. If you're a Lions fan under 35, your playoff watching experience has been focused anywhere but Detroit your whole life in the playoffs. And it's not to say you haven't had good players. You got to spend the majority of the 2010s watching one of the better QBs in the league in Matt Stafford break records with one of the best wide receivers to ever play the game in Calvin Johnson. That can't be taken for granted, but it only diverted the attention away from the team's success for so long. Then, after the 2020 season, Stafford became tired of losing and asked for a trade. Detroit got back Jared Goff and hired new head coach, Dan Campbell. It seemed like it was just going to be status quo going forward. Good enough to win a few games every year, but never playing any meaningful games. And while they won just three games in their first season as a new group, there was no question Goff understood the situation in Detroit. What, what I feel every day being here so far is how badly the city um, wants and needs to win and wants and needs their football team to win. And, you know, I'm now the quarterback here and I'm excited to provide that. The next season, which was last year, went a little different than most NFL fans expected. The Lions went into Sunday of Week 18 with an outside shot at the playoffs and a chance to secure an above 500 record for the first time since 2017. They didn't end up getting their chance at the playoffs due to some other games that day not breaking their way, but it was still a chance to spoil the rival Green Bay Packers playoff hopes as it was a win and in game for them at Lambeau Field. And the Lions didn't disappoint. They knocked my pack out of the playoffs and finished the season 9-8 with a ton of momentum heading into the 2023 season. We know how that plays out now, but Goff knew there was something building at that time. Here's what he had to say after that Packer game. It's exciting. I think it, you know it's it's the culture we build. It's the leaders on this team. It's the core of this team that's um, stood through that storm early on in the year and even last year. You know, stood through that and, and come out the other side of it. Um, you know, battle tested and, and, and truly perseverant. And um, those are the people. Those are the leaders that are going to take us through it um, into the future. And uh, we'll see where it goes. But it's exciting. This season, the Lions were one of the top seeds in the conference all year and won the NFC North way too easily. They were already a young team heading into the season, but they hit big on some 2023 draft picks like Jameer Gibbs and Brian Branch that pushed them over the top into true Super Bowl contention. Now, I had a lot of skepticism coming into the playoffs considering the long, dark history, but this time did feel a bit different. They won 12 games for the first time in over 30 years, and Dan Campbell had the team more motivated than we've ever seen. They faced old pal Matt Stafford and the Rams in the wildcard round and took care of them, although it was closer than it needed to be. Then they handled Baker Mayfield and the Bucks with relative ease, but the score was still tight at the end. Nevertheless, they made it to the NFC Championship game and proved they were one of the best teams in the league. Then came Sunday's game against the San Francisco 49ers. The Lions couldn't have started out any hotter and led 24-7 at half, but tragedy struck in the final 30 minutes. Questionable decisions, drop passes, and everything in between went wrong for the blue and silver. And just like that, their miracle run was over. They will be among the 31 teams to not win the Super Bowl this year, and to contradict legendary rock band Linkin Park, in the end, that's all that really matters. Now they've entered the offseason, and the Lions are feeling great. And why shouldn't they? They had the fourth youngest roster in the league this season, and they return a majority of their impact players. There's no reason they can't repeat this year's performance. But sadly, that's just not how it works. Ask Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. Ask Nick Sirianni and the Philadelphia Eagles. Even if a championship contending window looks like it'll be open for a long time, it's often not the case. And it hasn't been the case in Detroit basically ever. One thing that went well this year that could revert next year, for example, is Dan Campbell's offensive aggression. It worked countless times over the regular season, but in San Fran, it cost them points. 
Will this strategy work year after year? So don't get ahead of yourself, Detroit. While this was an amazing season and the future looks bright, the window of contention can come and go without even knowing. Enjoy right now, because you could be looking back at this season as the good old days. One team looking to overtake their NFC North crown are the Green Bay Packers. Be sure to check out our recent point of view to hear more on them. And the moment you've all been waiting for, here's the answer to today's trivia question. We appreciate you tuning into the episode of Point of View, and we will see you in the next one.